In this tutorial, I will explain you what is entity in Hibernate and JPA. So today we will cover what is entity, then how to declare an entity and finally I will show you how you can make a simple application using the Hibernate and JPA where I will show you how you can declare an entity and then write the program. So what is an entity? Entity is simply a Java class for mapping to the database table. In Java entity is lightweight persistence domain object. Persistence relationship like one to one, one to many etc can be defined between objects of entity in persistence context. Entity is simply a Java class with setters and getters that maps to a table in a database. JPA defines the specification for entity. JPA is Java Persistence API. Entity class must be annotated with the javax.persistence.entity annotation. The entity class must have a public or protected no argument constructor. The class may have other constructors also. The class must not be declared as final. Following multiplicity in the entity relationships are supported. One to one, one to many, many to one, many to many. How we can manage the entity? Entities are managed by the persistence context or the ORM that hosts the entities. ORM tool is responsible for performing the underlying database operations. JPA API or ORM provided API can be used to do the CRUD operations. CRUD operations means create, read, update and delete. How to declare an entity? The entity class must be annotated with the javax.persistence.entity annotation. So in this example, we are annotating this student class with the at the rate entity annotation and at the rate table annotation means that it defines the database table to which this class is mapped. Now we'll see how we can create an entity and then map to the database. Here we are using the Java Persistence API JPA and Hibernate to connect to the MySQL database and perform the select operation. Hibernate is used as the ORM tool in this application. So let, let me explain you the database first. So JPA is a database here and in the JPA database we have a table called student and uh, from JPA program we are going to read all the data and then print on the console. So this is the entity a student which it annotated with the entity annotation then at the red table annotation is used to map at the red table entity is used to map this student class with the student table and at the red id is for mapping the primary key then to map a field we have to use at the red column and specify the name of the column in the database so one field then another field and one more is s course so these are this is the entity now i will show you the persistent.xml file so persistence.xml file is used in the jpa application so here we are defining the persistence unit jpa and you can have any number of persistence unit so for this persistence unit we are using the org.hibernate.jpa Hibernate persistence provider and the properties are this 
MySQL dialect and it is connecting to JPA database. This is the driver, then username, password, so SQL true, format SQL true. These are the configuration that we need in persistent.xml file. So once uh, a student entity is ready, persistent.xml file is ready, we can test the application. And we are using the Maven build tool for uh, dependency management. And here, these are the con configuration that you can check. Or if you want, you can modify it to use the different version or latest version of JPA and uh, Hibernate. So, this is the test file. This is the class we have, where we have main method. And in the main method, we are creating the entity manager factory uh, by calling persistence dot create entity manager and passing the JPA. So this for this JPA persistence unit. So for this JPA, we are creating the entity manager factory. And from factory, we are getting entity manager. Entity manager provides the API for performing the database operations. And entity manager manages the entity in a persistence context. So this is the begin transaction and query is select st from a student and uh, where st dot s role is greater than r r o l l and here we are setting the parameter it is getting all the data whose value is greater than 100 and finally we are printing the data like this so to run the application right click and then select run as java application and it's going to display all the data so we have two records it displayed the two records so this way you can create the entity and using the gp api you can get the data from database you can find the source code from here and we have thousands of tutorials on uh, hibernate and other programming languages you can visit our website and learn from these tutorials on the home page you will find the tutorials of hibernate struts xml spring java testing frameworks databases ajax javascript java server faces php and so on so we have large collection of programming tutorials and all the tutorials are with uh, easy to learn example code so visit our website and learn from these tutorials Thanks for watching the video and subscribe our channel.